everybody thank you so much for joining me for this video today i am really looking forward to sharing with you what the lord put in my heart today um the last few days i have been um, just listening to a lot of teachings and different sermons and things online and the lord has reminded me of how he's always um behind the scenes working and even though we don't see what he's doing he's still working and um a word that the lord uh kind of just the words just came to me when i was watching a sermon um recently was how god flips the script and how he can flip anything that's happening in our lives and he can use it for our good and i did post a video um recently talking about that as well um and how you he's he can turn anything for our good and um i really felt like i should go in a little bit more detail of how he can flip the script so um remember in the old testament there's so many stories of different people from the old testament who were going through really hard things or they had to wait a long time for god's promises to come to pass and I just remember like different stories where something happened and it looked really bad. It looked like it wasn't going to be able to be turned around, but then God turned it around for the good of the person and it actually ended up being like a huge testimony. And so um, I just want to like remind you of some of those stories and then talk a little bit about how God flipped the script for those um, different people. Um, you know, if we look at the Old Testament, you find a lot of stories of, uh, you know, Old Testament um, believers who had to wait for promises to come to pass and how different things happened in their lives. And just thinking of like Joseph and how his brothers um, sold him into slavery and what looked to be really bad for him, God actually turned it completely around and Joseph ended up being the um, second as to the Pharaoh and he ended up helping save um, probably millions of lives during the famine and how that that particular incident of him being sold into slavery you know looks like a really terrible thing it looks like how could you come back from that and then he was in jail and he was accused of things and stuff like that but God ended up flipping all of that for um for his good and it actually ended up blessing a lot of other people too and so when I just think about how yeah, it's, it's really hard when we go through hard things, but God can actually flip that, the script of our story and he can turn it all, not just for our good, but for the good of the people around us, whether it's a testimony or some way we're able to bless other people. And so um, Joseph is one story, but we also can look at Moses. Um, remember back in Moses' time, they wanted to kill all of the baby boys and um, God actually ended up putting him in the place of most protection by putting him in in the palace and pharaoh's daughter ended up taking her him under his her wing and raising him and how god flipped the script there because um moses should have been killed as a baby but god completely flipped it and it not only blessed you know moses's family in his life but it ended up he ended up bringing all of the Israelites out of out of bondage and slavery to the Egyptians and how God flipped that script. You know, it looked like an impossible situation. It looked like, um, you know, things couldn't turn around. You know, all the years that they had been in slavery and then all the baby boys being killed. Um, and then look what God did. Like, God completely switched that and he flipped it. And how miraculous it was that he was able to do that. And in the end, not only did Moses, Moses and his family be blessed, all of the Israelites were because they no longer had to live in slavery. Um, there's also the story of Esther. You know, Esther, um, she's basically forced to go to the, the king's palace and to be one of his, I don't know, ladies in waiting, one of the maidens or whatever. Um, and she basically is forced to... Um, that position and even though what looked to be really not a great thing for her god flipped that and it not only blessed her but it blessed her, all of 
all of the the Hebrews because they were going to be killed and how God just flipped that and how God um, he has a tendency to take really rough and sad stories and he flips the script on them and so um, that is just some stories in the Old Testament but we can actually look at the New Testament too there are multiple stories in the New Testament how God ended up flipping the situations so that um, the gospel ended up being sent out even more if you think about Saul uh, you know he was he was a murderer he killed Christians and you know he had a experience um, on the road to Damascus and what ended up happening he became a Christian and God changed his name to Paul he had already killed many Christians um, but God flipped the script there and he was able to lead many Christian, or many people to Christ because of his testimony. And not only that, we still talk about him. He's still one of the kind of the heroes of the faith. If you, you look back, you know, he's written a lot of the New Testament. And like, that is something only God can do. He just flips things um, for for our, our better, but also for the better of the people around us. And many people are blessed when he flips the script on um, our lives. And I also, you know, there's other stories in the New Testament, but in particular, um, Jesus, right? Jesus is the ultimate. You know, the devil thought that he had won the battle against God. He thought that he killed Jesus, but God flipped that script and Jesus rose from the dead and he's our savior and he's the one that the reason we're able to go to heaven is because of what he did on the cross. I mean, that's the ultimate script flipped, I guess, but so like it's really easy to become very discouraged because we are not seeing um, God flip, flip things for us yet, but we just need to, to rest sure that the Bible says that God works all things together for good to those that love him. And he will work everything for your good if you love him. Um, and sometimes you just have to wait. You have to wait for that day to happen. And you know, in my own life, I've gone through things and it's been really hard to trust and believe that God is going to work all that for my good and that he's going to flip the script because I sometimes feel like I'm not, I'm not the place I want to be. I'm not experiencing the things I was having to experience and different things like that. Um, but we can rest assured, you know, some of the promises that God made to those people, they didn't happen right away. They were things that had to be waited out on. They were, they just had to be patient and had to wait and the Lord when they looked back at their life, they saw like God was flipping the script. He was working all these details um, behind the scenes out. And even though like we may not see God flipping the script right now in our lives, I want to you to be rest assured that God is. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. And as you seek Him and you uh, love Him, He will flip the script of your life. If you're in like a season where you know it's kind of like a dark season, you're struggling. I really want to encourage you that um, God is working and he is going to flip the script against the enemy because the enemy, ultimately, he never is going to win. God is always going to win. And in the end, we even know like there's going to be a battle, right? Um, but we know we're the winners. And so I just want to encourage you that God will flip the script and you might not see it happening right now today. But in the future, you will look back and say, God was working. God was flipping the script on what the enemy thought he was going to do me evil in. God meant it for good. And so I just want to encourage you today. I hope this encouraged, uplifted you. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content from my channel. I post this type of content um, weekly. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.